Hello everyone. Our problem statement is solutions to detect air quality inside the room and improve it. There are three members in our team. Me, myself, Sonam Rajapati, and Abhishek Meena and Anurag Gupta. Now you might be thinking, what is air quality? Let me answer this first. The term air quality means the state of the air around us. Good air quality refers to clean, clear, unpolluted air. Clean air is essential to maintaining the delicate balance of life on this planet. Not just for humans, but wildlife, vegetation, water and soil. Poor air quality is a result of number of factors including emission from various sources, both natural and human caused. Next question which arises is how is air degraded? What makes the air quality decrease or poor? Here I had shown three pictures. First is of industry, second is of cigarette and third a traffic. In this first picture you can see uh, from industry a large amount of gas is emitted into the atmosphere which contains of many harmful pollutants. Second many people do smoking due to which a harmful gas is released in an environment with content of many pollutant with, which affect directly lungs to a human being. Third is traffic in which a gas is emitted from the engines of car, buses, many vehicles which are increasing day by day. This is also harmful for our environment. The pollutants from these sources are released into the air which can affect the health of humans, animals and our environment. The quality of air depends on three factors. The amount of pollutants, the rate at which they are released in the atmosphere and how long they are trapped in an area. In this picture you can see a air is emitted from the industries which contain a large amount of pollutants which decrease the quality of air. This air consists of a pollutants like sulfur dioxide, hydrocarbons, volatile organic compound, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and many more like lead and part smokes, dust etc. These all pollutants are really harmful for the human health and plant and our environment. In this you can see how different different activities which goes on in our daily life affect the environment and decrease the air quality like electricity which is our daily needs nowadays from uh, production of electricity from steam power plant a excess amount of steam is released into an air which consists of few pollutants even traveling which is also necessary in that from bus, cars, trucks, everything, uh, gases are released from the engine and from some material production industries, it also uh, emit unwanted and harmful gases into the environment only. And our home also, like by cooking, by burning wood, uh, some amount of air considered of pollutant go into the environment. And not only this, some activities like uh, cigarette and all will contribute in increasing the pollutant in an air. At last, this all pollutants get combined and goes into that air and make whole environment polluted and decrease the quality of air, which can directly or indirectly affect the human health and even a plant and animals. Now we get to know how air get polluted through different activities and how on a daily basis the air quality is decreasing day by day. But now the question is how do we get affected through this poor air quality? Do it cause serious issue? What else get affected through it? Should we need to take action against it? So let's find answer of all this question. As we all know a pollutant 
may be air quality poor in a poor air quality there may be some fine particles which can affect of human health and create issue like shortness of breath coughing and sneezing chest pain and fatigue even they can make it worse like cardiovascular and heart disease asthma and co and even when this pollution goes up uh, up to the ground level ozone layer then this can affect the human body and create a issue like difficulty breathing deeply shortness of breath sore throat sneezing and coughing fatigue this is short time and even long time worse this is it can cause is like asthma and copd and emphysema many people especially in a country like india are engaged in an occupation like a truck driver bus driver and many more activity in which they have to stay in the highly polluted area the traffics most of the time so every second they face a large amount of air pollutants which can really affect their health very badly here are few questions that will really make you think first what is main motive of house isn't it a uh, we sh should protect ourselves from outer environment which is not good for our body do we are really safe in house from this pollutants i think no let's see uh, aren't we are getting affected from this even when we are not going out we are just staying in home and getting affected through this pollutants is it possible let's see definitely answer is no we are not safe from this air pollutants even when we are in our home and not going outside this air pollutants can enter in our home from various way from ventilation through window air conditioner passes anywhere since the pollutants is available in an air it can reach up to us from various way and can affect our health badly now we all know how on a daily basis our activities affect our environment and this poor air quality when we breathe can affect our health not only on human health but plants and environment and few people who are coming daily in contact with this can go to a long term disease like an asthma also so don't you think it's a topic to be really concerned we should find any solution for this and think how we can prevent ourselves from this what we can do in this how we can reduce the air pollutants how we can get a better air quality we here few possible ways i had listed among which first is try to stop increasing pollutants in air this is quite impossible type because the as we had seen now only the activities from which these pollutants are adding up in an environment is our daily necessities like industries from which we get material which we use on a daily basis electricity of course nowadays no one can stay without electricities and transportation it's a daily necessity so at least we can't stop the pollutants to get into the air reduce air pollution how we can take a measure to reduce the air pollution like how to what to do so that less air harmful pollutants is added up to the environment we can't make it zero but we can try but third is improve air we can make the air which is already polluted we can do something to make it quality good how that we have to think the idea which me and my teammates have is we can do like we can detect the quality of an air 
how the air is in your nearby surrounding if the quality is poor according to the level of quality that machine will detect it and do something to improve it into a good air quality so that the air which you are breathing and from which you are coming to contact does not contain any pollutants or a very less amount of a pollutant which is almost negligible so that your health will not get affected through all this so this is our basic problem statement that to detect the air quality and improve it so that a normal human being should not get affect of the this and this we can use in a various place like in a house for protecting us even in a cabinet of a truck and any bus wherever the driver seat so that because a truck driver is a person who come across the pollutants a most so there should be one boundary like machine in a cabinet so that it can detect the air quality in the cabinet and improve it so that the health of truck driver should not get affected through all these pollutants and outside Thank you.